Koala Makes the Right Choice, a book about choices and consequences. Written by Sue Graves, illustrated by Trevor Dunton. Koala didn't always make the right choices. She never looked after her bike. She always left it out in the rain. Then she got cross when it got rusty and wouldn't work. Mum said she should make the right choice to look after her things. One night, Koala didn't want to go to bed. She said she wasn't tired. Mum said she would feel tired and grumpy the next day. But Koala didn't listen. She had a tantrum. She didn't get to bed until late. The next day, Koala was very tired. She said she was too tired to go to school. Mum said Koala should have gone to bed on time. She said that would have been the right choice to make. That morning, Miss Bird read the class a story. She said everyone had to sit quietly and to listen. Yawn. But Koala didn't sit quietly and she didn't listen. Worse still, she kept yawning loudly. Miss Bird got very cross. At painting time, Hippo broke his brush. He asked if he could borrow koalas, but koala said no, even though she had finished her painting. Hippo was upset. At lunchtime, koala didn't choose any vegetables. Mrs. Croc said vegetables were good for you. She said they kept you fit and healthy, but koala took no notice. She took lots of cakes instead. Tiger said cakes weren't a healthy food choice at all. At playtime, Koala didn't make the right choices either. She didn't think about others at all. She knocked Little Lion over. She didn't bother to see if he was alright. Everyone got cross with Koala. They said she couldn't play with them if she didn't play nicely. Koala was upset. That night, when it was time for bed, Koala remembered to stop, think, and then make the right choice. Koala went to bed on time. The next day, she didn't feel tired. She sat nicely and listened to Miss Bird. She shared her pains with Hippo and Monkey. Hippo and Monkey said she was very kind. At lunchtime, Koala remembered to stop, think, and make a good choice. She chose lots of lovely vegetables. Mrs. Croc said she was very sensible. Best of all, Koala didn't get tummy ache. At playtime, Koala found a toy car in a playground. Koala really wanted to play with it, but it wasn't her car. Koala remembered to stop, think, and make the right choice. She took the car to Miss Bird. Miss Bird said the car belonged to Tiger. Tiger was very pleased to get his car back. He asked Koala if she would like to play with him and the car. Koala was very pleased. Miss Bird said Koala had made the right choice. Koala said making the right choices made her feel much happier.